This is our first look of the 2022 Tundra. Now, a lot of people are very excited about this. We are going to have full drive impressions. That's coming on October 12th, so you want to stay tuned for that. But I want to show you some new things that we we're allowed to show you. This is the Tundra Sport. Now, there are different trim levels. There's six different trim levels. So I want to show you this one because this is like the off-roader type. Catch anything. LED lighting as well. And the one thing you want to note is when you hit the locks, you get this really cool LED light signature that actually is a running light, which I thought was pretty cool. One thing also, somebody did mention there's no tow hooks on this vehicle. You can add that on aftermarket. SEMA is going to have a whole bunch of them, but from the factory, no tow hooks on anything, even TRD Pro. An LED light bar on the TRD Pro, and we'll show you that coming up as well. Coming around to the side, this is an all new vehicle, inside and out. So starting off 18 inch tires on the off-road version, 20 inch on the limited. Again, you're going to want more tire, obviously, for off-roading and less wheel. In this case, we've got the 18s here on the TRD, and I do like the red. I think it looks really cool. Nice little details. I really thought about all the details. Going further back, you can see that you've got this matte black tundra. Again, very muscular. That's what the whole look was for. Folding mirrors in case you need to get through something when you're out on the trail. Uh, and then we'll go into the inside in just a second. On the Limited that I test drove on the way out to this location, when you open the door, the running boards come out. And that's really good for a daily driver. In this vehicle, it doesn't have it, but you can add them. There's about 115 different accessories you can get over the counter. Of course, aftermarket will be on limited amounts. This is not a crew cab. This is the super cab. So when back, it's going to be a slight bit smaller. You can see the difference in the size of the doors, a little less space, but it depends on what your needs are. As we move further back, you've got your gas tank. Again, the TRD Sport. This is not the Pro. We'll be doing the Pro off-road. But one thing I want to show you on this tailgate, when you open it, there's a step that comes out on many of them right here. Automatically comes out. When you close the tailgate, it comes back up, which is nice versus the old version. We had to like put your foot in there and try and make that work. In the back, they've got a composite bed now. This is what we were told. If you want a bed liner, you want a spray-on bed liner, you can add all that. But this bed is a composite, meant so it doesn't corrode or scratch. I do have some questions about some of these bolts that are galvanized steel, because I know they're going to rust. So you might want to think about a bed liner, spray-on would be the best. And of course, on some of the other ones that we looked at, there was actually an outlet here in the back. Those are some of the accessories you can buy. And that's all here. There's a light here and there's your camera. Further down, you've got all your connections for towing. The towing capacity of the Tundra that's gas two-wheel drive is 12,000 pounds with the hybrid because you're hauling the batteries. That's where you're going to have your limitation. And it's just a little over 10,000 pounds. So find out what meets your needs. The limited we were driving said 10,500. Again, is the hybrid important to you? You're going to get more power. You're going to get more torque. But then do you want the gasoline version? So again, that's based on your whatever you want. Class three towing is here. This is an extended cab. This is not a full crew cab where you can get full size seating back here. This would be a little bit limited, especially for child safety seats. There is two latch systems, something to keep in mind. This is the cloth interior. This is an SR5. So this is a pretty entry level vehicle, especially being a sport. But I wanted to show you some of the different trim levels. There's storage back here, but in the limited I test drove, had three stage heated and three stage cooled seats, as well as three different charging ports. So another thing that's nice about these vehicles is your storage underneath. So there's a pull here, a little cloth tether. The seat comes up and you have tons of storage. This is great if you're carrying something long, fishing poles, maybe you're going out skeet shooting, or you just have stuff to put in here, tie downs, whatever it may be. There's tons of storage underneath here as well. And there's aftermarket components to, for separators. You can also fold this down and there's some storage compartments back here for a jack or whatever it is that you might need an emergency kit. Just good to know that you can fold these seats down if needed. Let's take a look at the front row. We just fired this up. There are two engine choices. There's a V6 twin turbo and then there's a hybrid. And the hybrid, of course, is going to be more horsepower, more torque. Again, that's available on limited trim levels and higher, but not available on all trim levels. So if you want a hybrid, you got to keep that in mind. Now, first thing you'll notice is on TRD, there is a red start stop button, which I do like. And that's true on the Sport as well as the TRD Pro. And I do love this new 14 inch screen. This is what we covered in the Lexus NX. 
And this, I have to say, is really impressive. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You got Amazon. There's a lot of technology here. And this was needed because the mouse they had before and the smaller screens were horrible. Now, you can get a smaller screen that has the exact same information. And so that's really important. Everything is wireless. Bluetooth for two phones. You got wireless charging here as an option. And of course, all your charging ports, two cup holders. Your drive modes are here. Your tow haul mode is here. Inside is a gigantic glove box, USB-C, USB, and places to store things. I know people have put safes and things in there for handguns or whatever it is that you need, your wallet, but it's good to know that this is big enough to put a lot of stuff. Another thing I can tell you is on the hybrid, there is a two-speed transfer case. This is all new steel frame, so you got a much more rigid ride. That's what they're telling us. I have not driven that yet, and when I do, I will post that on our review, which will post on October 12th. So make sure to subscribe and follow us, and we'll give you some more information as soon as we can. This is the most information we can give you right now. The highlights are 14 inch screen, 12,000 pound maximum towing capacity, two engines. One of them is hybrid. LED lights, a lot of new features, new off-road capability beyond what they had before. And of course, you get different trim levels and new colors and new interior materials. There's lumbar on both sides. There's a lot of new positive things for this vehicle. This vehicle is running for North American Truck of the Year. It's also a world car vehicle. I'm really impressed with this so far. We will give you all of our drive impressions as soon as we can October 12th. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Put your questions down below. I will answer them. I'm sure you have questions. If you are a Tundra person, you love this brand, you love this truck, and you think, you know what? I'm switching from a domestic brand to this Tundra. We want to hear that, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. And don't forget to follow us on social media on all platforms. At Lauren Fix, we'll be posting even more.